Hi, I'm going to go over the basics of helping you capture your mini DV tapes to your Mac uh, computer. Uh, there's actually a, a couple ways to go about this, but I think I found um, really the best system to go do this. So let me just jump in and I'll start with absolutely the basics and show you what you need to capture. And then I'll go through the process and tell you a little bit more. Let's go ahead and review what you need to capture your DV tapes. First and foremost, you need your camera. There's actually no way around this. Uh, there's, no, there's really no decks and there's no other way to capture the, the videos. You actually have to play the video. So I've got a Sony, um, but there's also cameras by JVC and Panasonic and uh, Canon. Um, but all of these work. Uh, next, you're gonna need your power cable. And actually for this camera, um, I didn't have my power cable, so I went and bought a third party called Wasabi Power. It actually works fine in the Sony camera. Next, you're going to need your connection cables to connect to your Mac computer. So we're going to use a FireWire cable. And on this side is a mini FireWire. I'm not sure that's what they call it, but it's a small FireWire. It looks kind of like USB. Um, that's actually connected right into the camera. That's actually sometimes called DV and sometimes called FireWire. The other side of this is a little bit bigger. You can see the, the look of this thing. Um, unfortunately, what you need to buy is a adapter that actually converts from FireWire to the modern day Thunderbolt connector. You can see that's a little bit square. All this information you can see uh, on our website. Um, this you can actually order off the uh, Apple website. Next, you need to find your tapes. And I know this is really obvious. I happen to store mine in a shoebox. Um, but what I actually like to do is because I have so many tapes, I have two different containers. And as I capture each tape, I move them from my beginning box and I move them into my other box so I can keep track. Kind of simple, but it kind of helps the process. Hey, let me just jump back in here for a second. Uh, regarding the camera, you know, I find that a lot of people don't have their cameras anymore. They're lost or they sold them or something. Um, I've actually gone through the process uh, several different times and you can buy them on eBay and uh, Craigslist. Uh, they're usually anywhere between $80 and $120. Um, you can buy those, capture your tapes, and then just sell them again. You can also borrow them from uh, neighbors and friends because really capturing all your tapes only takes about a day, no matter how many you have, or maybe two days. And then you can just uh, get rid of the camera. But there's really no way around it, so you do need a camera. Next, we're going to plug the camera into your Mac computer. And because Mac innovates so much, they have changed the connectors several times. We are now up to a Thunderbolt connector on the Mac. And so what you're going to need is this connector, which you can find links on our website and buy it at Apple, which is a FireWire to Thunderbolt. Hi, there's a bunch of different ways you can capture your tapes. You can use online services, iMovie, Final Cut, uh, Premiere Pro. Uh, they're all pretty good, but in this uh, tutorial or getting started, I'm going to show you how to use a uh, LifeLix, which is a really simple program to import and catalog your tapes. Uh, but let me just go ahead and show you how we're going to do that. Now, we found our camera. We have our camera connected to our Mac computer via the Thunderbolt and we launch LifeLix. And by the way, this tutorial is the same for LifeLix free or the LifeLix paid version. Okay, inside of LifeLix, we're gonna just click the import button. Uh, we are constantly looking for a camera, so we found your camera, and then we will type in the name of this. Okay, this actually names the file as well on your computer. I'm not going to rewind the tape just so I can show you how this works. And immediately you'll see the videos start coming in. Ah, there's my wife I'm trying to avoid the camera. Um, anyway, I'm going to go ahead and stop that. But it builds uh, a tape in LifeLix and it builds your scenes. I'm now going to show you a little bit about the catalog, how it works, and then we're going to make a quick movie. So as I said before, on the left side, you've got all of your tapes. This is where all the individual tapes you imported. If you click on a tape, then you see the individual videos or the clips that are on that tape. As you can see, this tape has 105 different video clips. Very exciting. 
Okay, so we're going to click on an individual video clip on the right in the scenes menu. The first thing we're going to do is shorten that video called trimming. And so I know at the end of this video, my daughter's got a cake and all of her friends are there. So I'm just going to basically find that and then I'm going to trim. The cool thing about when we trim is it puts this little trim icon here so you know which video you modified or probably the one that you want to use in making your final movie. I'm going to click on my second clip. I also know at the end of this clip uh, my nephew is going to pin this little game thing so I'm just going to basically go to the end. Okay, I'm going to trim that. So now I've got two videos and if I use the Apple command key I can select both those videos, you see how they're blue. I go up here, I click the combine button. That actually puts that video into the first one. So now I go into that clip and I scroll up, scrub through and there is the two videos and I made a movie. Now I can share that to YouTube or Facebook uh, into my photos application or uh, onto a file on my computer if I want to email it later. Okay, thanks for listening.